Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, Must Love Labs. My name is Alan. On this channel we discuss tips and tools for how to raise, breed, and sell Labrador Retrievers as quality family pets. So if you're new here, you might consider subscribing. In today's video, I've got a real special treat for you guys. Livy, our chocolate female, has just whelped her very first litter of puppies. That's right, her very first litter. We've got two boys and two girls, one silver and one chocolate of each. How cool is that? Wyatt, our silver stud, is the one that sired that litter. I'm gonna show them to you. Let's get to it. All right, here's Livy's very first litter. We're so proud of Livy. She's doing great, by the way, and so are her puppies. They just came into the world. They were born on Veterans Day. And we're going to come up with some, some Veterans Day theme names for them. Uh, but basically, the, the Silvers were the first ones born, boy and a girl. Uh, and then the two chocolates came, again, boy and a girl. Uh, how cool is that? Just a straight split down the middle. Uh, Wyatt's our silver stud. He's the sire on this litter. Uh, so that's that's where the silver puppies are coming from. Uh, beautiful dogs. They're all healthy and, and uh, uh, look at them. They look like little little beast whales. <laughs> They're eating so well. Uh, smaller litter number uh, because it's Livy's first litter and that's not uncommon at all. Uh, sometimes their first couple of litters are, are small uh, and sometimes not. Every dog's different but that's how this one worked out and that's just fine. Everybody's healthy and happy and, and doing well. Uh, these little guys, uh, there really isn't too much on them that works other than their nose at this point. Uh, uh, they know that they want to find something to eat and they want to stay warm and be close to their mother. Uh, and they can smell her. Uh, she, she, uh, uh, their saliva is something that they're attracted to. So uh, she uh, keeps herself clean that way and, and lets them know where to go get something to eat at the same time. Uh, and they're going to spend their day going back and forth between eating and sleeping and then eating some more and then sleeping some more. <laughs> and that's, that's a day in the life of a brand new puppy. Okay, so we're going to show you these new puppies uh, one at a time up close and personal. Uh, here's one of the chocolates. We've got two chocolates and two silvers is what we got on this litter. Uh, a chocolate and a silver boy and a chocolate and a silver girl. Uh, how cool is that? Um, even split on the males and females. And uh, let's see what we got here. A little, little silver guy. How cool is that? <laughs> When you see them right next to each other, you really understand the difference between the the uh, the silvers and the chocolates. And the the silvers, of course, are diluted chocolates. or chocolates with the silver dilute gene. Uh, chocolates being the rarest of the three main colors, black, yellow, and chocolate. And then silver being the the rarest of the chocolates. So there you go. Oh, look at that yellow! Know. <laughs> what a cute little puppy. We'll come up with some some uh, pet names for them here pretty soon. They were uh, born on. Um, 
Veterans Day. So we're going to do Veterans name, Veterans Day theme names for these guys when we, we get around to, to deciding which names we're going to run with. We'll let you guys know uh, probably here on the YouTube channel and uh, over on the Facebook side as well. So I don't know if you guys have connected with us on Facebook, but we're on Facebook and YouTube. So we're going to do some whelping box maintenance here. And uh, we're talking about taking out this whelping pad and putting in another one. Uh, so we're, we're going to talk tools. Uh, so the whelping pad is going to come out. Um, and we're going to clean the, clean the whelping box up. And this shows off the, the, the Fur Baby heating pad that we use, by the way. It's great. It's round. So the puppies uh, can either crawl on it or off of it as they choose to either warm up or cool off. And mama dog doesn't have to lay on it. She can lay in the space outside away from it. So it works out great in a, in a round whelping pool. And they've got square ones too, by the way, if you're using a square box. So uh, they're, it, they're, I love them. They're, they're, they're wonderful little tools. Uh, so we're going to sanitize the whelping pool real quick. Uh, and then we're going to put in a, a new whelping pad. Hey folks, if you're getting value from this video, do us a favor and hit that like button. It sure does help out quite a bit. And thanks in advance for doing that. Okay, so let's take a look at this Fur Baby heating pad that we use. Uh, as I mentioned before, these things are great. I love them. Uh, you, you can totally adjust the temperature on these and how long you want it to run. It's got a, an auto safety uh, shut off that you can set so that it doesn't run you know, forever, not on continuous run. It's just a wonderful tool. Uh, and the puppies can come on and off of it as they need to, but mama dog doesn't have to lay on them. Uh, and and it's, they're, they clean up real easy. They're water, almost waterproof, uh, fire retardant. Just, it's, a great, it's a great addition to the whelping box. Now, here's the whelping pads that I love. These whelping pads from Easy Whelp. I, I can't say enough about these. They're fabulous. It, it's just a great thing to, to have puppies whelped on and, and, and in there uh, being on during their first couple weeks of life. They catch all those little messes. Mom and dog cleans up a lot of stuff, but as the puppies get bigger, the messes do too. And this, these whelping pads from Easy Whelp are fabulous. I'll link all this stuff up in the description on this video. Uh, and you guys can go online and check it out for yourselves if you want. We've also got them in the tools section on our website at mustlovelabs.com. So there they are, everybody. Four brand new puppies from Livy and Wyatt. Two chocolates and two silvers. Welcome to the world, little guys. That wraps up this week's video. You want to check back soon because we do a weekly litter updates for all of our litters. If you'd like to learn more about becoming a dog breeder, we've got a playlist for that right here. And if you'd like to watch the playlist from our last litter, the Peanuts litter, we've got a playlist for that right here. You can always visit us on the web at mustlovelabs.com. And thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.